Hello foodies, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing a review of a recent dinner I had at 75 West Coast Grill, which is inside the Vancouver Airport Marriott Hotel in Richmond. The location is 7571 Westminster Highway in Richmond. I was honored to have the chance to go there twice. I went there once with a group, a VIP group, and we had an assortment of different things that are on the menu and obviously off the menu or going to be on the menu eventually, like a preview of some of their items. And then I went a second time myself. So both times I really enjoyed myself and I really think um, Richmond uh, has a lot of great um, ethnic restaurants, but just like regular continental cuisine, Canadian cuisine, um, there's not that many. So this is really nice, actually. It's a very upscale type place. So the first thing we had was actually something that's going to come on the menu um, eventually. It's called seafood cakes, kind of like a version of cre crab cakes. Um, and it was really nice. It was nice and hot. It was delicious. Next was their charcuterie plate. So this was for six people. So the one that you'll get if you're just ordering off the menu will not be as big probably. So this is their charcuterie board, assorted cured meats and cheeses, gherkins, pickled onions, olives, mustard, and crackers for $31. And I guess you can see by the presentation, very nice uh, upscale. I thought the place was actually, it looks renovated. It's quite um, hip and upscale but still relaxing. So I thought the atmosphere was great. And uh, the second time we went there, we had a great server called Remy from Montreal, and he was very, very attentive. So um, really enjoyed everything. This was another specialized item that was just for our group. Hopefully they're gonna put this on the regular menu. I love this. This was steak tornado Rossini with whipped blue cheese. I really like this. First of all, it looks attractive. It's a little bite size. You can handle it in your mouth and um, just wonderful. I, I thought it was just an excellent um, take on kind of a steak dish. And so hopefully they'll put this on the regular menu. This is another dish that was created especially for our uh, group on the first night. It's called a tuna crudo. I really like, look at the plating, beautiful. It is for a larger party of, um, six, I think six, we had six or seven people. The only thing is I thought um, it was a little bit too much heat on it and it took away from the taste of the tuna. But they have a number of other tuna dishes on their regular menu, which try out. They have the Albuquerque tuna salad and then they also have the uh, tuna taco nori. I'm a big nachos fan, so whenever I see nachos, I always order them. So I think I know a little bit about nachos. Uh, I try a lot of them. And so they had nachos here, which is for uh, tricolor tortilla, tomatoes, olive, jalapenos, scallions, salsa, glaze for $27. I added beef for another $8 and guacamole for another 4 So in total of $41, which is not cheap. Um, the size was okay. I've seen larger size um, nachos. Having said that, it was quite delicious. Um, sometimes the chips can actually be oily. This was fine. Sometimes the beef is not intense enough, not beefy enough. It's kind of a little bit lighter in style or a sweeter. And so this was great. It was just nice ground beef. I like that. All the toppings were good and fresh and the salsa was fresh. Guacamole was great. So I really enjoyed it. Um, other than the size could be a little bit bigger. This is their flatbread, which is also meant to be shared. It's caramelized onion, sun-dried tomato, tapenade, grilled scallion, balsamic glaze, goat cheese, arugula. So kind of a vegetarian dish for $21. So I think that's a quite a nice price. Again, like um, each one, each person takes a little slice. Um, it's nice, uh, well-made, uh, delicious. So no complaints about this. This is another one of their shared plates. They have a number of things on the menu for sharing. And actually, I suggest just having those and just sharing with people. You don't really need the main courses, uh, some appies and some shared. I think it's fine. Um, and they're really well priced, most of them. So this is their um, Britannia seasonal beer mussels with shallots, garlic, grape, tomatoes, chorizo, and garlic butter focaccia for $26 really nice um you know you could i guess have one by yourself but it's nice to share with other people mussels are great the focaccia is great a little bit of chorizo in the broth um good meal 
These are the lamb chops with chimichurri, chard, salsa roja, duca spice. It is market price, but on the night that we were there, it's $32 for six pieces. I think that's very attractive pricing. Um, again, it's part of their shared menus, so everyone can just grab um, a lamb chop, and it's really quite nice. And again, um, it's not uh, pretentious food. It's not Michelin star food, but sometimes you just want to have a nice time with, uh, you know, four or six people and kind of a casual place, but decent food and not too expensive. I think this fits the bill. This is their six ounce strip loin. Um, it's normally served with market vegetables and uh, roasted garlic mash, but we had it with fries and uh, it comes with a red wine juice for $36. If you look at the size of that dish, it's not um, insubstantial. So although it's six ounces, it looks like quite a bit. And so um, I think the price is fairly reasonable for this dish. The, cook, uh, the steak was cooked nicely. The fries were great. The um, aioli was great. So again, no complaints. We finished with a dessert platter. And again, it's just an assortment of things that they do. They threw in some uh, macarons, which they normally don't have. Um, on the right hand side is their chocolate desk decadence cake and then as you scroll up they have their homemade strudel they have their homemade creme brulee uh, they also have gelatos and sorbets and then they also have the feature new york cheesecake so it's all quite nice as again um, what you get there um, on a regular night and what we got as a group a little bit different but you can see the quality that's there so all in all i really was happy with this restaurant it's, I just felt very comfortable there. The food is good quality, not very expensive, and um, fairly upscale um, in terms of its design. So really nice restaurant in Richmond. Um, I'm going to recommend it. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Until next time, happy eating.